Hello everybody, this is Jackie Jean with Jean Photography and I am so excited to have you join me to go over my newest release of the Freedom Tribe Collection and I really am over the moon excited with this action set and I just want to show you a few things that it can do as well as help you with your own images and how you can adjust them for your own images too. So. I'm going to just kind of jump right in here and get started. So, all right. So all these images that I will be covering right here, these are straight out of camera. And, you know, as any image, if you're running an action on it, if it's a good, if you're starting out with a good straight out of camera, as far as it, as it not being too bright or too underexposed, you're going to have a lot more versatility when applying the actions as well. Alright, so I'm going to show you right here. This is the Freedom Tribe Actions right here. This little folder, you're going to download that, put that in there, in your Actions. So by doing that, I mean what you could do is you go Window, Actions, and there's a little drop down menu on your Actions palette over here. I can show you, there we go. So just hit Load Actions and then it'll bring up a little window and you can pick wherever you saved your actions and then you're good to go. And then it'll bring it up in your actions palette. All right, so I have kind of everything kind of separated in this one. So I have color change and color change is just a very subtle color. That's all it does. It just changes the, the overall color balance of your image. So like this is a little fire. As you can see, it warms it up. And if you have a, a, war, or a warmer image that you're wanting to cool off, then here's a little frost. Notice right there, it's kind of before and after. It just cools it off right there. It's really good for skin tone. Uh, let's see, here's spring green. And spring green really turns it green. So um, you can adjust the overall opacity of these actions and then the layers. And the spring green is for an image that has a, a big magenta cast to it. Um, so that's when I'm going to play that. And as you can see, it looks really nice too at a low opacity as well. All right, so that's the color change. And then there's simple fixes, freedom color. Just as a nice color pop to it. it. Just, you get the brightness and the contrast and everything. Um, as you can see, you can, adjust the overall opacity of the main folder right here, but you can go into each layer within the folder and adjust those. Um, I really like the brightness where it's at. Now here's rich color and as you notice this matte is black. So what you're going to need to do is if you're wanting to add a little bit more pop to the image, just take your paintbrush, make sure the color is on white, and then you can just paint around her. I really don't want to give her skin too much pop, but I'm just going to brush on the rest of her. And I've got my opacity on my brushes at 82%, which you could totally adjust to your own liking. And so this is a before and after. All right, and we'll go ahead and let's kind of skip down a little bit. Let's see. Um, I also have you go down here, there's a burst of light, top center. So I'm just going to add a little bit of light to this image. And then I'm going to go up here, it says paint on effect. So I'm going to paint on some pop. So I'm going to go ahead and press play on my action. Whoops, in order to do that first though, let's go to our background. We need to make sure that we are on the background before we do that. So I'm going to go ahead and press play again. All right, so here's the paint on some pop. Again, I have my paintbrush set to white. And I'm just going to paint. First of all, I'm just going to paint around her. This is cutting out some of that haze, too. There we go. So that's painting on some pop right there. 
And I want to go ahead and add one more action. So I'm going to go back to my background. And let's kind of cool it off. So let's go to Freedom, Moonlight, Matte. And these are the cool actions. So there's warm actions and cool actions. And there we go. So we just did the Freedom, Moonlight. And what that did was just cutting out some of those warm tones and cooling it off. Again, you can adjust the overall opacity. There we go. And you can paint the skin back in, like if I wanted her skin to stay warm. There we go. Or even certain aspects of the image too, so I kind of warm up the light. There we go. So there's before and after. All right, this next shot right here, let's go ahead and try a black and white. So we're gonna do a black and white, and let's see, there's freedom black and white. It's a little dark, so we're gonna go within the folder and increase the brightness. And go to the richness and bring that down a little bit. There we go, so that's just a nice black and white right there. And if I want it a little bit moody, I have Freedom Extreme Moody. So we'll go ahead and press play on that. Again, it's a little bit dark, so we're gonna brighten that up with our brightness layer. And just bring down some of the richness to it. We still wanna keep some of it. We'll do that about 74%. And as these are all masked, you can notice these boxes are white. So what we're going to do is if you want to paint something back in, go ahead and make sure that the color is set to black. And I'm going to just brush. Whoops, let's go to the brightness. Just brush his white shirt because we want to keep the brightness down on the white. There we go. So there is before and after, and here are both of those black and whites right there. All right, so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna check out the warmer actions right here. And we have Fall Freedom, Fall Freedom Matte, Freedom Sun, and Freedom Like Film. So Fall Freedom definitely warms it up, so you're gonna have a warmer image. Now her skin is a little bit red, so we're gonna go ahead and go back and just brush on her skin. And the box is black, so I need to make sure that my paintbrush is white. There we go. As you can see, that just cuts out some of the redness right there. So that's Fall Freedom right there. All right, and let's, if you want it a little more intense as far as the warming up, let's go to Freedom Sun. And as you can see, that's really red now. So we're gonna go ahead and brush her skin back in. Now her skin still is a little bit off as far as the color. So what we'll do is all we have to do is just, let's go to the background and let's add a little frost. And notice that cooled her skin off right there. And so we can go to a little frost. I'm going to make sure that my paintbrush is at black again. And I'm going to paint all around her because I still want those red tones all around the rest of the image. There we go. And I'm going to go to the main folder right there and I'm just going to reduce that opacity to about 40 percent. Go back to Freedom Sun, give her a little bit more brightness and here's before and after. And then we'll try one more real quick so that way you guys can see a little bit more. Here again is, so here's freedom and contrast. All this does is add some contrast to your picture. Uh, you wanna mix it up with freedom lift, which is just kind of lifting up an underexposed image. So we'll bring that up. Let's see, before and after there. 
And let's go down a little bit more. There's Moonlight, Free to Moonlight Matte. And the matte kind of gives that nice little haze right there. Again, adjust the brightness. There we go. Burst of light. Mix it up with some freedom color. Go ahead, add a little bit of frost, cool it off, and then I'm going to add a little fire and warm it back up. Right. So there are 20 actions overall and they're different things. So again, this is kind of set up. So there's color change, which adds that nice little color change to it. Um, and there's simple fixes, which is just a lifting up the exposure, freedom and contrast, freedom color. There's warm actions, just to warm up your images. There's cool actions to cool those off. There's a couple black and whites. There's the paint on effects. There's paint on creamy skin paint on some pop and paint on some fog. So like, let's see if you want to paint on fog, let's paint that. And so there we go. Let's make sure again, the brush is set to white. Just kind of pick some areas that I'm wanting to add some fog in there. There we go. And then you can adjust the opacity of it. All right, well, thank you again for joining me, and I hope that gives you a better idea of how you can you know, apply these actions to your own images. If you would like to share them on my Facebook wall, I would love to see them and just, just kind of see what you come up with. So I'm super excited to see that, and I just want to thank you again. If you need anything, you can visit my website at shopgenephotography.com for more resources. Thank you again.